Hello, it's Christmas. And this is eight great stocking fillers for photographers. Merry Christmas from the School of Photography. I'm Mark Newton, this is my little dog Jakey, and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we bring you the best in photography education. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you eight great stocking fillers for photographers. Each one is under 20 pounds or 35 US dollars. In the description below, I've given you the links to all of these products so you can just click on them and go straight to them. The first thing I'm gonna to bring to you is a retro coffee mug. Really nice design, will look great in any cupboard and for the photographer in your life, this will definitely be their cup of tea or coffee. Okay, the second thing that I've chosen for you is photography t-shirts. You cannot go wrong with a t-shirt, they always come in handy. I've picked three of my favorites here and I've put the links below for you. The first one is a Mr. Photography t-shirt, the next one is a Miss Photography t-shirt, and my favorite is I'll Fix It in Photoshop. We all know someone like that. So if you know someone who fixes everything in Photoshop, that t-shirt is gonna be great for them. The third thing that I'm gonna to bring to you is a deluxe camera cleaning kit. It's in the link in the description below and in it, it has a blower brush, a cloth and some liquid and they're really handy things to have in your camera bag. So make sure that the photographer in your life has got one of them. And as Jake snores away there, I'm gonna to bring to you the fourth thing on my list and that is a spare SD. SD card. Every photographer should have spare SD cards in their camera bag. So if the photographer in your life hasn't got one, then you can get them one of these. And another common thing that people think is to get an SD card that has got the most memory, so you, can, so you only have one card. Well, that's not true. What you actually want is several smaller cards. The reason for that is if one of them ever gets lost or broken or damaged, you haven't ruined the rest of your pictures. I've put in the description a SanDisk 32 gigabyte card, and it's a very high quality card for the money. You won't get better for that money. I've done the research, so I know. Fifth on the list, is one of these and that's a cable release. Cable releases are used to fire off the camera without touching them. Really handy for when you're on a tripod and you don't want that camera to move at all. So the links that I've put in the description below will cover most Canon and Nikon cameras, but for the higher end Canon and Nikon cameras, you might need to check that you're gonna get the right cable release. Basically, the more expensive cameras use different cable releases. So just double check that before you buy it. Okay, the sixth thing that I wanna to bring to you is one of these, a lens hood. You will be surprised how many people I teach and they come with these fantastic cameras and they're all brand new and none of them have a lens hood. Now, you should always, always use a lens hood. It protects the front of the lens, it stops lens flare, it gives you more contrast in your pictures. So if the photographer in your life has got the general entry level cameras that come with the kit lens, I mean, that's quite simple. If you bought a camera with a kit lens, the links below, they will fit that lens. However, just to check, it's really easy. All you do is on the lens, on the lens itself, you either look around the side of it. This one says Canon Zoom Lens EF 24 to 105. And that is the lens that this is. And you have to buy the lens hood for that specific lens. Sometimes, if it's not written around the side, it depends on your lens. If it's not written around the side, it's written inside the lens here. Okay, so just double check that before you get the lens hood. So if the photographer in your life does not use lens hoods, firstly tell them off, and secondly, buy them one. And the seventh thing that I want to bring to you, and this is gonna surprise you, is a compass. Now a compass is used for landscape photographers to see where the sun's gonna set 
or the sun's going to rise. Now you can get apps to do that, but when you're out in the middle of a forest or wherever you are and you're trying to get service, it can be a right nightmare. Whereas one of these never ever lets you down. They're very cheap. Every good landscape photographer should have a, just a general compass in their camera bag. And the last one that I wanna bring you, and by far the best, is the Camera Obscura Kit. Now this is brilliant. It's currently 11 pounds, which is around $15. It comes flat packed, so that you have to get your little PVA glue out and glue it all together and make it. And then you have a Camera Obscura. Now Camera Obscuras are thousands of years old. There is a recording of Aristotle in ancient Greece using a camera obscura. So they are the start of photography and if it weren't for these, you wouldn't have photography like it is today. And the other thing is, is they're just really cool to look through. So all you do is you make it like that, you put one section inside another section, that one's got a lens on, you push it forwards and backwards to focus in and out on what you want it to focus on and you have a really, really cool toy that will make anyone go Wow. And that is eight great stocking fillers for any photographer. If you've liked this video, please share it with your friends, click the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to join us on Facebook. We have a really, really good learning community on Facebook and join us there as well. Thanks for watching. Have a really, really great Christmas and I hope I've given you some really good ideas for presents. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.